Welcome to the Game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top 10 player at this game. Today, we are doing Throwdown Thursday, where I team up a poorly played Risk and review a 1v1 map to help her and you, the viewer, get better at the Game of Risk. Poorly played Risk, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks, Olive. This is Mallory from Poorly Played Risk, and I have never done a Zombies 1v1 before. So I'm very scared. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine, yeah. But we're playing on the classic map. No reason to go over the continents. If you're watching this video, you know classic map. And we can see 120 I seconds. I have never this played this eight. map before. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. yeah, you can see the settings here. Fog on, blizzards on. So the important part about uh, classic is you want to try to select disconnected territories to try to spread out around, around the map. On the bottom right hand side of my screen, you can see a disconnection map. This shows how connected and the adjacent connections of an individual territory. As an example, we can see that Eastern Australia is a orange three. So if I were to pull up my, I'll select this territory because I'm running out of time. But if I, if I were to pull up my disconnection map, we can see that this territory is selected to connect it to New Guinea in Western Australia, representing its orange color. And these two territories are also connected to Indonesia. So that's where the orange three uh, comes from. Poorly played risk, selected Argentina, which is a very disconnected territory. So good for you. And then I just did a little bit of a forcing move by taking two of Australia. So now there's two things I can do. Um, when someone takes Argentina, I like to take Peru. The territories you want to avoid on this map would be include like uh, Brazil, Argentina, North Africa. These territories are kind of like very, one, they're connected to a lot of things and like they're, they're choke points around the map. Like for a lot of these choke points, you want to try to select these areas last around the board when you can. Yeah, you're doing a great job. You're selecting the most disconnected territories for yourself right now. Oh, good. I somehow feel like the territory picks in this one are going to be the least of my problems once these zombies happen. Zombies won't do anything to you. I, I don't believe you. <laughs> well, that's because I'll probably do things first. Aha! Ugh, so mean. Just once, Olive, can we be friends? Could we fight the zombies together, maybe? <laughs> well, those infect one of us afterwards. I don't know if you've ever seen The Walking Dead, but you should know that anytime the humans are fighting against one another, the real winners are the zombies. Now I'll take this one right here. So since we just kind of got through some like the initial like best picks, and these are always going to change with blizzards. An example being this pick right here of mine that I took is a very, very strong pick because mm -hmm. it's only because a lot of its areas that it's connected to are now blizzards. Once you get through the best picks, what we'll do is we'll speed ahead a little bit and uh, show as we get close to the end of the selections. Critical mistake right here, Polio played Risk. Really? Yes. I want to highlight this. Never ever take these areas until like the very end. Our Siam and, like, uh, and, and the part of Australia. Because if you take both of them, that's going to give me access to the area now. Oh, and the most connected shoot. area on the map is the Middle East, because that's the, the, the center point. If I make you take that, you're just in a lot of trouble. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, I have, like, nothing but bad choices left. I'm so upset. Oh. Well, that happens at the end. And as we get to the final picks right here, Poorly Played Risk does have some good opportunities to uh, hide herself a little bit. I pr probably should not have selected this area here and should have selected this one a little bit earlier. But otherwise, I think it's, uh, pr I don't think my selections were awful. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, moment of truth, moment of truth. Yep. You, you think so? You want to hide yourself in an isolated location to hit a lot of my stuff where I can't then hit you. So you can hide within Europe. Ooh, this is, yeah, this is my toughest... This is the part I'm the worst at. I, I'm not good at this part. Guessing what the other person's going to try and do. Yep, and now the zombies make an infection point. 
Do your worst, zombies. Oh, they hit you. That was rude. Eh, I'm okay with it. All right. So now you are connected to me. So what I will do here is a uh, place like this. Attack as such. Break you. And then attack like this. And then place out like here. Mm. You are getting four because you get plus one. And that's the thing about zombies. It really favors player one a little bit more than normal. Because instead of getting plus three, because it's considered a three player game, you only get plus one at the end. So you have to go even more positive than normal. Hmm. Oh, interesting. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Yep, so 16, she's counting 18, the territories. That's important. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Oh, you have too many. Hurry, hurry. The thing is, all the zombies are around you. All right. Yeah, but I have a very, very strong alliance with these zombies. These zombies suck. <laughs> <laughs> they did nothing. So now all I need to do at this point, because I got all these territories from you. Is I'm just going to hit you and get the attacker's advantage. Or at least attempt to get the attacker's Ooh, advantage. Not quite. Not quite. Boo. Eh, I'll be fine, though. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, you had a three hiding down there. Sneaky. So in my turn, when I first started, I got seven, and you're getting six. Yeah, it's important to be a little bit careful about that, because uh, by attacking that territory... The zombies will eventually be hitting that stuff as well. You want to try to uh, keep your... Yeah, it's more important to keep the zombies stronger. Because they're eventually going to get very, very big. And they may even infect one of us. Oh, oh man. Oh, these zombies, man. I got to get them off of my grill. So that's why I'm actually not going to be attacking anything else here. Yeah, it's tough in zombies to know. Um, it's tough to know how many territories your opponent has. So there is a uh, a way to do that. The key is you just. Oh crap! Yeah, you're attacking a lot of ones right here, and the zombies are going to be hitting you more. Your one important thing is that you need to be a little bit more cautious because, yeah, now, look, now you're just getting infected and now the zombies are going to rip apart North America. And look, now you're just getting hit a lot more than me. Okay. Okay. Yep. So since now, now that you got uh, hit more, I can just go, like this defend and now you oh no break asia or just go through all the zombies do you have a set no then good luck winning this 8v11
I don't need luck. I'm good at this game. We both rolled sixes. Both of us had sixes just then. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky. Oh, you and These, these sneaky, are techniques sneak. that you can apply in the late game right here of just trying to uh, build up an advantage. Yeah, those blizzards, I wasn't even thinking about it. Yep. Wait, did the zombies not even attack? Correct. Because I was defending all my borders. Oh. So now You're all I am to going to do here... Okay. You're just going to hold everything. Yep. Oh, Olive, you foiled me again. This is my special style right here that I just love with zombies. Because I don't need to kill you. I just need to uh, slowly constrict you like this. Probably should have broke your um, Africa, but whatever. I th Would you believe that I do not have a freaking trade? Oh, I believe it. Oh, crap. I'm still slow rolling. Oh, you. SMG. But that's a Mallory thing. That's not SMG. <laughs> 56. Goodbye. I'm going to miss you when I'm dead. Hmm. Okay. Oh, my God. They still didn't attack. Oh, this is brutal. Yep, because I don't need to do much uh, right now. You really don't. Make this a one. Put the rest here. Break you like this. Go back to here like this. Oh, man, you must be just like... 500 times my size right now. Probably. I don't know how big you are, though, and I don't want to mess up the roll. But I one continent to year two, and I know you have to be defending your area very, very heavily in Venezuela. That was a mistake. You're just going to die now. <laughs> no! Yeah, those zombies are going to rip apart everything there. That's why towards the end, you want to just kind of leave large stacks like the way I'm having. You have no idea how large my stacks are, Olive. The zombies are creating an insulation around me. It's like a protective zombie bubble. We'll see. Yeah, we will see. I'm going a, I'm to a hide in South America. That's probably where it's going to be the safest from the zombie apocalypse anyway. Head south, people. Oh, no. Wow. And that's most of your stack. And now I'll just go back here. So I'm guessing you're still in Europe, but frankly, all I need to do is keep expanding at this point. And you can just see right here, all you don't have to kill someone right away in zombies. It's actually best not to do that. All you have to do yeah, is just you get can more troops than your opponent, really and then it gets just such a huge overwhelming advantage. So I'll ask you, if I had just big stacks in Australia, I just would have blitzed you and then probably cleaned up afterwards. And I die anyways, right? Because the zombies. So me not going in our, like the like whoever goes first is getting Australia, right? Like there's almost no way around it. That's where a lot of the strategy revolves around. Yet you have to be prepared to stop that. That is key. You don't have to defeat the zombies in a, in a 1v1. But I'll just do it quickly because it's fun. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, in Poorly Played Risk. This is Poorly Played Risk and all of XC signing out.